Hi everyone, it's Shane from Hanlon's for another Maintenance Monday. To continue on with our Windrower Help series, we're going to talk today about auto steer. So we've got a 9870 here to give us an example. Um, most, most of you have the C1000 console, some of you have the larger one. This is just going to give you a little bit of a review. So you get into the Windrower, you're a little bit, uh, a little bit green from last year, the memory's a little foggy. First thing we got to do is we got to turn the auto steer button on. Now remember that if you leave that auto steer button on when you leave the wind drawer for the day, your battery is going to be dead in the morning. So make sure that you turn it off when you get out of the wind drawer, otherwise dead battery. So we fired up the antenna a few minutes ago so that it would load the program. Um, basically what you do is push the button beside the steering wheel. Um, green means go, red means there's a problem. Here the problem is is that we don't have the wind drawer running because we want to keep it quiet for you. Um, the, the top lines can be changed, the side icons can also be changed. Um, normally we preset the bottom ones especially for you. If you want to change them to something different what you do is you take and push the button down and hold it. Uh, it counts to about five seconds. You use the scroll dial, you roll to whatever you're looking for and select it and then it installs it in the correct position. So normally what we want to have is shift track right, shift track left and then the recentering button. Um, so that you can snap that line back to the center of the machine just by pushing that button. So quickly, quickly in order to adjust things, um, the first thing that you're going to want to be able to do, and, and sometimes that depends on, on the field that you're cutting, if you're cutting in a circle or if you're cutting in, in the straight, is you're going to press the wrench, okay, and then we're going to use the bottom button here because what we've got here is um, it's telling you the kind of way line that we're using, an AB line. Um, the next one is your header width and your overlap. And as you can see, this one is set at 10 inches. Um, that would be fine for a straight line. When you're working on a pivot, you're going to want to have that somewhere between 14 and 18 as a starting position. And then see what the, the correction is working like for that day. So in order to change the the overlap what you do is you press the button and then you're going to say that you want to write and then it opens up the boxes for you and then of course you just scroll the dial and change that to whatever you want to have it whether it's 12 or 14 uh, we'll set it to 15 today to give you an idea and then when you're finished you hit the green check mark and the escape will take you back. So now we have our overlap set at 15 inches. The last thing you're gonna need out of these menus is you're gonna use the bottom button to go to the next page and your nudge offset. So normally where you wanna start there is you wanna start at somewhere in the six to eight inches. Um, if you get too small, you're just gonna be bumping the button too many times. So start at six. Um, again, you use the scroll dial, highlight the box, roll, roll it. Once you have the, the value that you want in there, you tap the button on it and then to accept it, hit the green check mark and we're basically ready to go. So then we'll hit the escape button. And the last thing that you would do is to actually go and set a line. So you hit the field, you say you want a new field, it's going to give you the date and the time for your way line. If you want to name it so that you can come back to it later, you can do that. Um, it's just a matter of selecting it and, and then it will give you the, the keyboard. Otherwise, you hit the green button and then it will ask you if you want an AB or a contour or an A plus heading line so that you can basically drop the A point and start cutting immediately on auto steer or a pivot. Okay, the, the only difference between any of these is the pivot one. 
when you select the pivot one, you're going to have to start it recording. Okay. And so what you do is you press the record button and then it will give you uh, an estimated distance to, to finish. And you're probably going to have to go at least three quarters of the way around the pivot in order to get that to where it has enough points dropped that it's accurate. Once it's finished, it gives you your lines just like normal. We'll, we'll escape back out of here. You can see where we have straight lines set here already. Um, and basically then you use your auto steer and gauge button on your console um, when you have the green light here and of course you get that once the tractor is running and away you go so hopefully that helps you out with with the basics on auto steer thanks for watching